Alright, hey guys, um, this is my other video that I said that I'd make. Um, this is my rampage because there's a lot of things that I need to get off my chest and yell at you for about, sorry. Um, first of all, whores and sluts. Honestly, I go on Facebook and I keep my Facebook so that I can talk to my friends, but I don't like going on Facebook and seeing whoever half naked. I don't like seeing you taking pictures of your cleavage with like this much of your face in the picture. No. I don't know what type of guys you're trying to attract or if you're just a whore and you are into guys that just want you for sex maybe maybe that's you I don't know but if you're looking for a relationship and you think that's how you're gonna get a guy I can advise you that you're getting the wrong kind of guy if that's how you get guys to talk to you because if you meet a guy and he saw those pictures he is only gonna want you for sex my advice to you is put some clothes on Take a picture of yourself and go out and talk to guys. Don't wait for them to come to you. If I did that, I'd never have a boyfriend. Um, <laughs> but I don't know. If a guy doesn't like you because you're talking to him and you're not half naked in all your pictures, then screw him. He's a man whore. No one, he's going to die alone. Just shh. He's gonna die alone. Don't listen to what anybody else says. He's gonna die alone. Um, but if a guy does talk to you when you have clothing on in your pictures and he's really nice to you, well then ding ding ding! You have a soulmate! And even if he's not your soulmate, you'll, you'll still have a good time with him. Um, but yeah, you don't, you don't need to be naked in your pictures for guys to like you. My other rampage is about drugs and alcohol. And I know that a lot of people are like straight edge. I guess I, I personally think it's just trendy to be straight edge. I don't know if any of them actually are straight edge. I don't, I know that straight edge means like you don't do drugs and you don't drink or you don't smoke, but I don't, I don't know what else is involved in it, but if you are straight edge and you're actually like hardcore straight edge, good for you. You are awesome. I, I don't follow it because I don't know the true definition and I don't really have the attention span to find out. If you want to tell me, go ahead, tell me. I'm willing to listen. Um, don't yell at me for calling it trendy though. I'm sorry. I don't mean it, but... Well, I do mean it. I do think it's just a trend. But, anyways. Um, but for those of you who do drugs, and you drink alcohol, and you smoke weed, and I'm going to call weed a drug, and don't even say anything to me about it not being a drug, because I don't care. It's, it's a drug. I don't care what you t say. I don't care if you say it's an herb or whatever. I don't want to hear it, because it's a drug. I, I think that you are dumb, and that... If you want to get anywhere in life and you're young, stop now. I don't care if you're addicted. They have narcotic anonymous a meetings. Narcotic anonymous a meeting. <laughs> I can't say it, sorry. But you know what I'm talking about. And I've been some of them. Not because I had a problem with drugs, but because I knew someone in there and there are teenagers as young as me and younger that are in them and you're not going to feel like an outcast and if you live near me I'll come with you I'll make you feel better but just try to stop now because if you don't stop now it's just going to get harder um I, I think if you're dumb enough to do those things these things kill your brain cells and if you're dumb enough to do them you need all the brain cells that you can get, so stop now. And I understand that people drink once they turn 21 or whatever. Go for it when you're 21. But be wise about it. Don't drink and drive. Don't make stupid mistakes. Um, 
Hold on. Someone comes in my room, I'm shooting them. Okay, just kidding. Um, but I hope that you will make good decisions with the drugs and alcohol situation. And if you're going to tell me that you're stressed out and that's why you smoke or drink or whatever, don't give me that because I get stressed out just as much as everybody else. And don't blame your past either because I had a tough past too. And I am 16 and have never touched any of those drugs or alcohol or any of that in my life. So if I can do it, so can you. And if you need any help, doing it I'm here to help you I will I'll talk you through it I don't know I'll hang out with you more if I <laughs> or I'll start hanging out with you if I don't already um because because I may be judgmental and I may say that I hate everyone but that's because people are just dumb sometimes and they make such bad decisions but you you watching this I love you and I care about you and I want you to not screw up your life and not make bad choices and I'm willing to help you through it so please 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 take my help and or at least just take my advice don't even don't even tell me that it was me that made you change your mind just take my advice and stop before it's too late because I care about you and, and I hope that you have an awesome future and you become rich and successful and you marry an amazing guy or girl and they love you forever. And, and yes, I really hope so. Um, well, I think that my 